Hey, what's up my doobie steepers? Your boy Morris Merson here, and today we're back with another Beyblade Metal Fight video looking I'll take at look looking at Scarlight Garu Burn, a bay made by my good friend Chroma, aka my editor. You will find in the description below. Shout out to him as always. This right here is a pretty powerful uh, aiming for a balanced type, but it's a bit more on the aggressive side of a Beyblade. Uh, as you can see, it's got a pretty round shape with some big hook contact, some good upper and smash points here. Uh, it has a defense metal flat in the shield track. So it should have a mix of LAD and attack power here with this overall combo. As well as it should have some form of defensive potential. But let's take a closer look at each of the parts here individually. So going from top to bottom on the bay, going over the parts real quick, we've got here the Metal Face 2 Heavy here. We already know what that is, so we don't need to spend too much time on that. We've got the Garbrand Clear Wheel named after the Edemo. Very nice, aggressive shape on that with the big spikes and smash points on there. Next, of course, we've got the Scarlight Metal Wheel itself, I believe to be a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Uh, I believe there are certain cards there named Scarlight. We drop that on there, 46 or 45.64 grams. Very solid weight for a metal wheel, I would say. Giving it a little bit of competitive in the 4D range and uh, solid, not too heavy. We've got the uh, armor shield track right here. Should be pretty good. It is a 145 track and it's sort of just like a beefed up shield 130. Next, we've got the defense metal flat here. So similar to RDF, of course should have a lot of stalling potential as well as LAD, but should also be quite aggressive given the big flat shape, especially if it leans onto the ridge with that big defense shield ring thing, whatever you want to call it. The battles we have going on here in the video, we have Twisted Tempo or Basalt Horobium, whichever name you prefer, Cosmic slash Big Bang Pegasus right over here as a sort of attacker as a challenge. And then we have Beat Links on the other side uh, as a sort of mix of the two. It's sort of uh, another balance type to battle against. So let's go ahead and try this out real quick. We're gonna be doing three these three battles first with the combo I just showed off. And then we're gonna be doing a altered combo, still using the Scarlet Wheel, but using different parts all around it to try a more defensive leaning balance take since this one is much more focused into the attacking stamina let's incorporate more defense into that later in the video uh, before i do get into the battles though remember to go down there like comment and subscribe if you're new here there's a lot of you who have seen my videos before too and still haven't subscribed so i would suggest going down there hitting subscribe because i'm always coming out with more of this custom beyblade content so if you want to see more reels like rocket or penta <laughs> that's a terrible one to point out as an example but just more custom base for metal fight and for x be sure to subscribe there's always going to be more there somewhere all right guys we're here in the summit beyblade stadium which you can pick up exclusively at bearsandbricks.com use code moisture seven percent off your orders uh let's get right into it please. let it rip i forgot the countdown and everything Unfortunate self KO right there, but there was contact, so point to tempo. Keep going, go shoot. And go shoot. And it sounded very light in terms of a hit, but it still knocked it out, so I'll take it. Keep going, go shoot. And go shoot. Ah, stayed in the stadium just barely and then self KO'd after knockout. Uh, point two, Garu burn there. Two, two, and go shoot. And go shoot. If I hadn't tilted so aggressively, it could have outstalled there, but unfortunately that didn't quite happen. Come on, go shoot, go shoot. Jeez, that was a crazy knockout. All right, tempo went flying. It went a whole arch over the stadium as it flew out. Jesus, all right. Uh, Garuburn doing pretty well in that first match. Let's see how it does against Big Bang Pegasus. 
Hoping for a couple of good things here, considering how explosive both of these bays can be at times. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. If I can keep the bays in the stadium. Jeez, alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. And. Oh, shoot. And. Not wasting any time, just getting a nice one hit knockout right there on Big Bang. Start off the battle. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. And. Go shoot! And a nice counter knockout from Big Bang, though it was a big wall save there. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! And go shoot! Jeez, Big Bang just deflecting right now. Acting more like a defense type than anything, honestly. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! And go shoot! And a solid stall out there from Garu Burn. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. Jesus Christ, the knockout. All right, Garu Burn wins this one. Going in here against Beat Links. Uh, this is my third take, trying to just not fuck up launches. Three, two, one, go shoot. And a pretty easy KO to start. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. And lucky. keep it on the launcher, let it rip. Wow, that was a nice knockout. All right, he just charged that up and then went for it. Very cool knockout there. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. And go shoot. And a nice outspin there means Garu Burn wins. Alright now, we are at the halfway point of the video where I will be swapping out to Scarlet Dragonis from now on. Using what should be a beefier sort of combo. We've got SA165, RSF. My main idea is that this will guard here and then uh, like with this disc it should overall be pretty wall-like. And then obviously have the chance to counter with these massive hooks in the wheel that just jut out. and. Hopefully the RSF gives it a bit of both defense and aggression against other bays. So let's go ahead and test it out. Now with this upgraded combo, let's see how Scarlight Dragonis takes on these upcoming battles. The Twin go shoot and go shoot. And a pretty easy knockout right there from Garu Burn. The Twin go shoot and go shoot. And no effort at all. Three, two, one, go shoot. And go shoot. And just lightly suggesting that Tempo leaves the stadium with some pretty soft, but still uh, decent hits there. That's just, I guess, the power of these hooks in the wheel. So now we're gonna go up against a Big Bang Pegasus. This one should be hopefully a better test considering they're both gonna be quite uh, passive in the beginning here before Pegasus activates Final Drive. Nope. Or just the cleanest knockout of the battle just instantaneously. And let's get the Shard of uh, Plastic out of the stadium. This stadium is taking quite some damage here, especially in this video. If you don't go shoot. And go shoot.
Dang, with the soft launch, it barely even budged against Pegasus. Do to him, go shoot. And go shoot. And another knockout just to finish it right there. Moving around a little bit and then just stopping as soon as the enemy was gone. Alright guys, for the final match of the video here against the Lynx, let's see how it does against this upgraded Garu Burn. And in that battle, it sounded like this was just starting to get rattled apart gradually. Yeah, that's a, that got pretty loose during that. Not quite a big outspin or any or KO or anything, but... I mean, it is one I dropped the Beyblade on top of the other one. That one does not count. Exactly. It won't go. Shoot. One point still to Garu Burn. And a nice knockout right there. Not too extreme, just very clean. Two one, go shoot. And go shoot. And a little combo there. See, it was the last knockout of the video, meaning Garu Burn is our winner. Uh, Dragonis. The Dragonis. Starlight Dragonis. Uh, very cool combo here. This looks very pretty in this lighting right now. Uh, this performed pretty well. Very happy with how it came out. Scarlet is very good. Very decent all-rounder here. Uh, though it does specialize a bit more in attack than anything else. Uh, I shouldn't say that because it still had some very good defense potential. It did not budge and still has some pretty solid stamina to outspin some stuff. With a rubber semi-flat is still pretty good. Especially with SA-165 which does waste a lot of stamina when it scrapes. So very good overall. Very happy with it. Of course, shout outs to Chroma for making it. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next.